Okay, good afternoon. We want to call the meeting to order of the Drainage District Board of Directors. We'll start with a road call to establish quorum. Uh, good afternoon, David Fuentes, Precinct 1. Eddie Cantu, Precinct 2. Everardo Villarreal, Precinct 3. Richard Cortez, County Judge, that constitutes a quorum of four. Yes, sir, Judge. Good Commissioners, good prayer. afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Let's uh, say a quick word of prayer for this afternoon, for this day. Now let us pray. Father God, we ask you to continue to fill our cities, county, state, and national political leaders with wisdom, understanding, discernment, knowledge, forgiveness, faithfulness, humility, and dignity. We pray for our judge and four commissioners that you have appointed to lead this great county of ours. We pray for our mayors, school board members, city councils, police chiefs, district attorneys, sheriff judges, and all the serve our local communities. Continue to grant them favor, increase their faith, and prepare them to pursue your excellence. Draw them to you and cause them to know and fulfill your purposes. Place people in their past that will provide scriptural sound and godly counsel, for without your counsel, their plans will go awry. Impart your wisdom, Father God, and revelation to them about leadership and help them to lead. Deal with our leaders about keeping their hearts and motives pure. We ask you, Father God, to make their hearts pliable, willing, and obedient to your will. Cause each other's lives to glorify your name. Lord Jesus, we come before you wanting to grow in our knowledge of you and what wanting to grow in love for you. We want to show our love by truly loving others as you have loved us. Our falls are many, yet we trust in your grace never to stay down and always to get up. We trust that your mercy will change our hearts so we stand before you ready to listen to your words and to ready to unite ourselves more perfectly to your most holy will. Scripture reminds us the more we seek you, the more we will find you. May we continue to seek you in everything we do and may we always Work as if we're working for you. We ask all this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beautiful to <laughs> Did anyone sign up for open forum? Yes, sir, Judge. We do have two participants. Uh, Mr. Our first participant is Mr. Joe Rodriguez. No, sir? Okay. Uh, <coughs> our uh, second participant uh, is Ms. Fern McClarity. Clarity, there is a three-minute time limit. I will advise when there is one minute, and I will start when you start. Mr. Sassine, during one of our previous meetings concerning the $195 million bond discussion, you stated that approval by the public would mean that the district would keep collecting the same amount as before because of anticipated growth. Can you explain how continuing at the same rate would not collect more money and cause a greater burden on the people. I'll wait for you in a few minutes to explain uh, because I know you kept saying, this is not going to raise your taxes. This has nothing to do with it. Uh, in reference to the board meeting tax rate, I hope this commission is not going to tell us that it is going to continue at the same rate because the anticipated growth would translate into a tax increase. This county has been at the forefront of building public buildings, increasing staff salaries, increasing law enforcement facilities and services, increasing taxes during a 30% rate of inflation and a 40% of poverty may allow the county to complete, complete uh, projects, but it will, would also anticipate a devastating growth of poverty. Each of you must know the impact of the increasing property values as they are the result of the action of this court. It is my understanding that the banks are concerned about the growing numbers of cities that are increasing their tax rate because of the potential for foreclosure. They do not want to, uh, want to acquire the homes. As usual, the county is leading the way. I hope it is to uh, prosperity. I looked on the county website and I see that uh, last year's tax rate for the drainage district is 0 0.1179. And you, it's called the no, uh, na, no new revenue tax rate, which you could lower to 0 0.1048 to help the people that okayed this $195 million bond, believing that their taxes would not go up. So again, I hope that you'll look at the tax rate on the people of the 1048 because we can't afford more. You're cutting their throats. You're cutting the people that cannot feed their children. Just go ahead and slice a little more, just a little here. Thank you. 
Thank you. Next item was your approval of the consent agenda. Yes, sir, Judge. Consent agenda approval, check register, and various items, um, payments, and so forth have been vetted by my team. Everything's in order to recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, yes, sir. On item 5A, if I may, discussion as it relates to Texas Water Development Board special traveling meeting scheduled for September 14th, 2023. So the Water Development Board is having their, I guess, first time ever meeting here in our area in Harlingen City Hall. It will be on the 14th at 9.30 a.m. I have been asked to speak before the board as one of the general managers. They've asked some from Cameron County as well. Just talk about some of the uh, historical info we have, you know, some of the challenges that we have and some of the projects that we have ongoing with, to deal with those challenges. So um, I'll be making a brief presentation before the board. And I just wanted to bring that up to the boards uh, uh, for information purposes. And um, I know it's still a, a few weeks away, but it would be good if we had a you know, an opportunity to, to visit with the board while they're down here and talk about some of the projects that we have ongoing. They are partners in, in various projects that we have right now, and uh, it's good to, that they're making that trip down here to have this, this board meeting down here. I don't know if anyone wants to add anything. Okay. It's good. All right. Um, 5B, consider an approval and order authorizing issuance, sale, delivery of Dow County Generation 1, a limited tax improvement bond series 2023. Under the provision of Chapter 1371, Texas Government Code, payable to levy of a direct and continuing unlimited annual ad valorem tax pursuant to the provisions of Chapter 56, Texas Water Code, setting certain parameters for the bonds, authorizing a pricing offer, officer to approve the amount, the interest rates, price redemption, and provisions in terms thereof, and certain other pr procedures and provisions related thereto authorizing the use of an official statement to be used in connection with the sale of the bonds and making other provisions regarding such bonds and matters incident thereto. So moved. Check it. All in favor say aye. 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 The motion carries. So I have Ms. Briones, our CFO, to come and, and, co and cover items C1 through 4 for the board. Um, Ms. Briones. Hi. Um, Paul Villarreal and, and or Julio were not able to attend, so I'm going to go over the benchmarks for the. Oh, hold on, okay. I'll, yes. I want to let them finish. Go ahead. Um, in front of you, you have the benchmarks for the Hidalgo County Drainage District. Um, they're listed as no new tax revenue, and it's point ten forty eight. Um, 1% $100 tax increase, 0 0.1058. One cent per $100 tax increase, 0.1148. De minimis rate is 0 0.1133. Uh, the voter approve rate is 0.1139. And of course, we have last year's rate of 1179. Um, the other item that is being discussed is the planning calendar, which is a second page. Uh, in the event that we need to hold a public hearing, these are the dates that were prepared by Paul Villarreal that we would have our open public hearings and also the approval of the tax rate. On the discussion of the 23 uh, tax rates, we were we are proposing the voter approved rate of 11.1139. Uh, this rate will not increase the INS or debt service rate, but as Ms. S. Fern mentioned, it will increase taxes. Um, the MNO rate will go down to 0 0.0460, which will go down 4 tenths of a penny. Um, so, let's see. So now we need to record the vote on the proposed 2023 tax rate. 
So, Judge Commissioners, uh, for the record, there is a public participation form on 5B and 5C. <laughs> Ms. Fern touched on it, an open form. Ms. Fern? Just that I want each one of y'all to remember that they were, we were told... You want to get close to the mic, please? When they <laughs> voted, when the voters voted to give the drainage district $195 million, they were thinking that this was not going to raise their taxes. And what we're asking is, what's the lowest amount of the, I think the no new revenue tax is the 0 0.1048. And my thing is, if you want to do the right thing, the tax rate should be that. Instead of, and take it down to help, because when the t uh, values, and this year the values went way up, <coughs> way up, way up. I don't know if all of y'all's did, but everybody else's. And the tax rate then can go down. And I don't think that the entities here in Hidalgo County understand that. They just see, ooh, there's more money. So we're just asking if it's possible that y'all uh, have the tax rate at the 0 0.048 because the people's home insurance are going up, the escrow is going up, their loans are, and like, I, like we said before, the bankers are even concerned about this. Thank you. This is the same. Do you have anything in your budget that's not necessary? Uh, on the budget itself? Yes, sir. Not necessary. Everything, as, as has been pointed out here, everything the is simple growing. simple answer is either a no or yes. Uh, I think everything that we have proposed and everything that we propose at the district is in need of, of what we need to continue the operation, sir. I don't, I don't, uh, we don't splurge or do unnecessary spending. So the short answer is the things that we have in my budget are necessary. That's correct. correct. Okay. And are you also subject to inflation and, and increased costs? Yes, sir. Okay. And, and and how do you fund for that increase in inflation and costs as you go to the, the next year? Uh, we look at our budget, Judge, and, and manage um, equipment, staff, everything that we have to do uh, okay. to be able so, to, to so absorb those costs. So all that process, your recommendation is this tax rate to meet your budgetary needs? Uh, that is correct. Okay. I don't have any more questions. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a different perspective, Judge, in that. I mean, just if you look at the last two elections, people truly, truly want more and more drainage because of the, the, the amount of water that we get on a, on a yearly basis. It continues to go up. They're begging us to do more, and we're doing as much as we can with what we have. And that's why we continue to go to the voters. Uh, apples to apples is last time we asked for three cents, we only used two. This time we asked for zero cents, and we got zero. It has nothing to do with this, with this tax rate. Uh, Everybody that I talk to continue to want more and more drainage projects because it affects their ability to get to work. It affects their household. And you're talking about a difference of $10 per $100,000 house. Sure. I mean, I vote for the 0 .1139 tax rate. I don't know, I have to raise my hand. Or Is there a second? Second. <clears throat> second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Unanimous. That's by record. Do we have to go individually, or how does that work? Yes. It's, it's recorded. Aye. Everybody. Aye, I'm in favor. Aye. Aye. And then the scheduled public hearing, uh, it's on September 19th. We'll have the public hearing, correct? Yes. Cool. I think you need to go, Judge, right? I mean, you need to accept the vote? I, th I think we, I thought we did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Formally, no? I mean, it, it's, it's approved. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Now we're going to the to the notice of public hearing for September the third. What day, what day is September third? We're scheduling a public hearing for September nineteenth. Oh, September nineteenth, yes, twenty twenty three, and then we're also scheduling a public hearing for September twenty sixth, twenty twenty three, for the setting of the tax I, okay, rate. Okay, I see. I'm sorry, I was, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay. So we sent out the notice on the third. Yes. Sir. So both public hearings with respect to the date, September 19th will be a morning session and the 26th will be an afternoon session. Okay. Okay. Great. Do I have a motion to, to set the public, public hearings as discussed? Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Um, item D1, request to approve a closed documents parcel 3 as it relates to text, text.wear road expansion project. Authority of the chairman of the board execute documents of the common review. 
Item 2, request and approval of possession and use agreement parcel 3 as it relates to Textile Railroad Expansion Project and authority of the Chairman of the Board to document the subject finally review. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. E, discussion of possible action to approve innovation agreement between SMB Infrastructure uh, Limited and RRP Consulting Engineers LLC and Adal Transition 1 in connection with SMB project numbers U3064 and SMB project number U330A, subject final negotiated language and legal approval. These are two contracts that we have that are uh, uh, the latest contracts that the district is using based on level of effort, fixed fee, and uh, after looking at them with legal, we have no objection to the request, so we're putting it before the board for consideration. So moved. So second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item F, one presentation of the sole firm, Amigo Title, responding to the expansion of Title Service Company, 2023 pool RFP number ACDD 1, 23035072 kmg for the purpose of accepting as qualified by the board, board of directors. Je I'm sorry, Judge Commissioner, did you just go through E or F? E. E. E, okay. I'm doing F right now. You're doing F, and if I'm not mistaken, Commissioner Vial did not uh, interact, didn't have any uh, discussion uh, and, and action uh, for the record. Okay. On E? Okay. So on, on item E. Okay. All right, so Judge, just... Uh, All right, for, for the record on item E, I did not believe that you voted or discussed no. that no. item. Let the record show that okay. Commissioner Vial abstained. abstained. Thank you. Um, F1 as read, sir. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. F2 pursuant to the board's approval, requesting authority of the Dow Country Nation number one to negotiate a contract with Amigo Title for the provisions of title company service on call on Nancy to basis Dow Country Nation one projects. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. G acceptance and approval of the work session number two to provide construction management inspection services in total. 153-528-47, I submitted a BDC Engineering LLC for the North Main Drain 3 Stormwater Project, Phase 1 and 2, through contract number CA City D1-23036-0725. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Item H, request and authority advertise and approval of request for qualifications, RFQ packet, including qualification requirements and scope of service through expansion of professional real estate appraisal service 2023 pool, RFQ number A C D D one twenty three zero four seven zero nine thirteen ESZ for selection of firms per project on a as needed basis. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item I, requesting authority to advertise and approval. RFP packet requirements, specifications, and plans for the project phase one foot control project segment 21 phase Number one, RFP number ACDD 1-23044082SZ, including the re-advertisement of the project in the event no response to receiving and or rejecting the project is still required. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. So this is part of our fifth project commission. So we're, we're, we're still working with the water development morning, but we want to get a project number and get that advanced so we're ready to go as soon as they give us a green light, sir. But when are they going to get funding? We're, we're work, that's, what we're, <laughs> that's what we're working on right now. So we're trying so to get... So when you go to that meeting on the... Yes, sir. We'll, we'll remind them. Yes, tell, sir. tell them to bring a check with Yes, them. sir. Yes, sir. Certainly will. Um, Item J, um, re one, requesting approval to, uh, to reject bids for the project 365 toll off site drainage improvement project outfall number one, RFP number ACDD 1230340726 KMG as a change requirements and scope of work. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And item two, request an authority to advertise and approve the procurement packet requirements, specifications, plans, et cetera, for the project 365 toll off site drainage improvement project outfall number one. RFP number ACDD 1-23046-0913 ESZ, including the re advertisement on the project in the event no response to receipt. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Thank you. Item K, request an approval of the budget amendment the amount of $1.5 million to the district's capital project fund in order to fund engineering <laughs> construction of the new building facility. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item L, approval of a budget amendment in the amount of two million five fifty nine and seventy seven hundred seventy one twenty one cents from district unreserved fund balance to pay for the open purchase orders committed at December thirty first, twenty twenty two. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Request and approval to complete and submit credit applications to establish a district account with the following companies for the acquisition of rental and purchase heavy construction equipment and specified. Uh, excuse me, specialty attached and repair parts and supplies and the authority of general manager to sign credit applications, Texas First Rental, LLC. So moved. Second. 
All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. And request and approval of purchase the following fleet vehicles through the Dow County Drainage District Number One membership participation with TIPS Cooperative Award Vendor, Silsby Ford Contract Number Twenty One Zero Nine Zero Seven. The total amount of five hundred fifty-five thousand six forty-three and ninety cents. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. Item 6A, request and approval supplement agreement number three, the professional engineering service agreement and to work session number one for the project highway 281 FM88, 2018 bond repair project 14, CAC 81-19-020-423, with Cruz Hogan Consultants, Inc. to reflect their revised exhibit D work schedule with an extended termination date of March 31st, 2024, subject to legal review and compliance house bill 1295. We're under construction on that commence. We just want to carry it through the construction. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Item B, request an authority to advertise and approval of RFP package requirements, specification and plans for four and a half mile road and Dauphin Road drainage improvements, 2018 bottom project number three, RFP number ACDD 123 esz including the re-advertisement of the project in the event no response to receiving them, no rejected, and the project is still required. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C, request an authority to advertise and approve RFP packet requirements specification plans for four mile road and Minnesota road range improvements, 2018 bottom project number four. RFP number ACDD 123 esc including the re-advertising of the project in the event no response are received and are rejected and project still required. So motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. So commission, those are the two projects in that area that we've been looking at focusing. We finally got those plans ready. We're going to put them on the street for construction, sir. Item D1, approval of application paper number five in the amount of 60628 and 62 from RBM cons contractors pertaining to construction contract CACDD1 2205101117 East Mercedes Project uh, Engineer Ms. Yvette from my uh, office. So motion. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. If I may, sir, I'll read the rest of them since they're, they're straightforward. Approval of acceptance of certificate of special completion, certificate of construction completion from RDH site and concrete LC pertaining to construction contract CACDD1 21048. 1130 Faceville Drain Improvements. Item 3, approval of application payment number 7, retainage in the amount of 79,915.97, an interest in the amount of 603.32 from RDA Site and Concrete LLC, pertaining to construction contract CACDD 121048.1130, Faceville Drain Improvements. Item 4, approval and acceptance certificate of statute completion and certificate of construction completion for Morewell LLC, pertaining to construction contract CACDD 120 mile 9 and FM 1015, package 1A. Item 5, approval application payment number 15, retainage in the amount of 359630.43 and interest in the amount of 5319.18 cents for Morewell LLC, pertaining to construction contract CACD 120 0390825, mile 9 and 1015, package 1A. Item 6, approval of application payment number 11 in the amount of 85,091 cents for Morewell LLC, pertaining to construction contract CACD 120 0651118, mile 9 and FM 1015, package 2. Everything's in order. Recommended approval D two through six. So moved. Second. We have a motion to second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We do That's have some D closed session. two, three, four, five, and six. We do have a closed session. Okay, pursuant to September D of chapter five five one of the Texas Government Code, we'll be retired to closed session to discuss items in section point zero seven two, point zero seven four. Potential 4271. May I have a motion to do so? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I have 158. <coughs> okay. We're back from executive session. I have uh, 223. Do you have yes, some sir. action items? On item yes, 8A, possible action of real estate acquisition of the board is so inclined. A motion to authorize Mr. Sassine to proceed as in the closed meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. There's no action on the pending or potential litigation. Okay. That's it, sir. Good. We want to move to adjourn. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned. I now would like to call the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court meeting to order. We'll start with a roll call to establish quorum. Good afternoon, David Fuentes, Precinct 1. Everardo Villarreal, Precinct 3. Richard Cortez, County Judge, and soon to come will be Commissioner Cantu, but we do have a quorum. Today we're honored to have a Honorable Marine, Mr. Jose J. Perez. He lives in Florida, Texas. He served in the, the Iraqi War from January of 2001 to January of 2006. 
He will be leading us in today's Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Sergeant Pettis works for our, our fire marshal's office. Next, we have the Honorable Laura Inahosa. She is our county district clerk. She will lead us in today's prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you on behalf of all gathered here today and bless each one of us attending the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court meeting. Thank you for life itself, for the gift of health we need to fulfill our callings, for sustenance, for friendship, and for our Hidalgo County family. Thank you for the ability to be involved in useful work and for the honor of bearing appropriate responsibilities. We ask for your blessings and guidance to help us gather our humble resources, our knowledge and talents to work together, all for the betterment of our ever-changing lives, health, and welfare. Teach us to reflect on the principles of our free nation and to honor all of the men and women who boldly stand to defend us so that we may live in freedom and peace. May your love be above us to overshadow us and behind us to protect us. Amen. Amen. Next, we have the approval of the consent agenda. Judge Commissioners, with your permission, I'd like to pull from consent agenda, uh, consent agenda uh, items 8A, 1, and 2. Motion to approve the remaining consent. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, for the record, Commissioner Fuentes will be abstaining from any discussion and or action regarding consent agenda item 8A, 1, and 2. That being said, we have a motion for approval. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve item 8A, 1, and 2. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next, we're going to item 5A. We have a proclamation honoring National Grief Awareness Day. If you all could please come forward. Good afternoon, Judge and Commissioners. My name is Kimberly Cruz, and I'll be presenting item 5A, proclamation recognizing August 30 as National Grief Awareness Day. I have here the Mental Health Coalition with me. Whereas grief is compromised of the emotions, response, and different stages that come with a significant loss, such as the death of a loved one. In relation to grief, mourning is the outward expression of the emotions that often are associated with grief. Grief and mourning aren't new terms to the human population. However, there is no one defined way to recognize or cope with these events. And whereas much like people's individuality, grief and mourning are responded to in different ways. Deep sadness and sorrow, although consuming and painful, are seen as part of the grieving process and are a common and natural response to loss. And whereas there is no set timeline to grieve, in a sense, grief is lifelong. Fortunately, as all the stages of a significant loss have been experienced, the intensity will subside and the time period between these responses and emotions will lengthen as one learns to cope with the loss. And whereas if you are experiencing the stages of grief, it is important to be gentle and patient with yourself and not be afraid to ask for help. There are numerous ways to cope with loss, such as therapy, expressing yourself through your favorite hobby, and taking care of yourself physically. And whereas National Grief Awareness Day was founded by Angie Cartwright in 2014 to raise awareness to the different ways people endure loss, offer psychological, emotional, and even financial resources, and remind us to support those of us who we know are grieving. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hopes to bring awareness to all county residents on the processes of grief, how it affects us, and how we can cope. Additionally, the recognition of this National Grief Awareness Day encourages all county residents to have open communication on loss and grief. Approved this 22nd day of August 2023. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you so much for your service. 
have Ms. Julie Harrington from the Children's Bereavement Center to say a few words. Hi, thank you for the recognition. Um, Angie Cartwright is who actually came up with this. Uh, grief is the most brutal form of love and she was feeling it and she called it a darkness. She said, you're a survivor trying to destroy yourself. People need you and you cannot find the energy. You're trying to find your path. You just want to scream and let that pain out. You have a fear of connecting with other people because you're going to lose them too. She knew that life was very fragile and um, with it, she, you know, you feel like you're all alone and you're the only one who's not dealing with it well. But what she found is that in reaching out, there were a lot of people dealing with it. And that was how this led up to uh, there being a national awareness for Grief Awareness Day because we all grieve differently. She knew life was fragile and she uh, uses the, the comment, um, you need the correct tools. You can't use a bar of soap to change a tire. Um, you know, connecting with others can be really, really hard. She recognized, she said she was even arguing with God. Um, she said, you're hanging on by your fingernails and you feel ashamed and that you're still grieving and maybe years later. So I want to thank you for rec recognizing Grief Awareness Day for everyone. Um, spreading this awareness. Um, what we can all do is giving people permission to grieve even when it's been years. Um, let them say what they need to say without judgment um, to work, th work through their emotions. Um, and listen, as helpers, we often want to be the problem solvers, but even just listening. Um, not that you have to have them, but we did an event this morning at the bereavement center with children. They grieve differently. They have a hard time expressing themselves. So as I came through security, I was like, I have googly eyes for anyone who would like a pair because we work with puppets to help children express themselves. So you're welcome to some googly eyes if you would like some. <laughs> and we thank you for recognizing this day for each and every one of us. We've all grieved. We lived through the pandemic and... Thank you for recognizing it. Thank you. Next, we'll have a proclamation recognizing the 25th anniversary of the Hidalgo County Family Violence Task Force. I have a small group that wants to come forward. <laughs>
Good afternoon, judge, commissioners. First of all, we want to thank you for your continuous support. Uh, we, you, have, you guys have been a, a great uh, support for the task force, and uh, we couldn't be any happier to be celebrating our 25th anniversary. Uh, just so you know a little bit about the task force, this task force has been uh, one of the largest task forces in the state of Texas that is leading efforts of family violence. So our work has been recognized not just at the state level but at the national level, and we couldn't have done it without the support of, of our judge and our commissioners. So whereas August 2023 marks 25 years since the Hidalgo County Family Violence Task Force commence its work to promote effective prevention, intervention, and treatment with regard to family violence in our community. And whereas the Hidalgo County Family Violence Task Force was founded in 1998 by Mujeres Unidas in collaboration with the Texas Rio Grande Legal Aid and the Hidalgo County Bar Association Pro Bono Project, and whereas the Hidalgo County Family Violence Task Force is compromised of multiple organizations and persons in the community working to reduce incidents of family violence in Hidalgo County. And whereas the Hidalgo County Criminal District Attorney's Office congratulates all the current and past members of the Hidalgo County Family Violence Task Force, supports their mission to end family violence in Hidalgo County, and honors the hard work and dedication of all the task force members that have worked tirelessly to follow their mission, vision, goals of the task force. And whereas the Hidalgo County Family Violence Task Force encourages everyone in Hidalgo County community to join their efforts to end family violence. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court recognizes the 25th anniversary of Hidalgo County Family Violence Task Force and encourages the community to join the efforts of ending family violence. Approve this 22nd day of August 2023. Motion approved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries, and we thank you all for your support. Judge, commissioners, thank you for the recognition. First of all, happy uh, 25th anniversary to the Dow County Family Violence Task Force. I want to recognize the efforts of the past and present members that have been fulfilling the mission of this task force. Thank you for all you do to prevent family violence in Dow County. We could not have gone to this milestone without your with all of, without you all. So thank you very much. Uh, Cecilia Mata from Mujeres Unidas will say a brief statement. Thank you. Hello, Judge and Commissioners. Thank you all for having us here today to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the Hidalgo County Family Violence Task Force. As an original founding member, uh, I have seen how this task force has grown um, and I see the changes that have happened in our community. Our goal has always been to end family violence in Hidalgo County and to work with those uh, entities to work together and create programs to help victims, not to um, have them go from here to there and not receive any services. So uh, working together with uh, everyone that works with victims, uh, we can help them become survivors. So thank you all so much for acknowledging this and everyone that participates in the, in the task force and uh, to keep the mission going. So thank you all very much.
unboxing it, Jackie. There? Yeah, she wants it over here. Right there? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, next we're going to have open forum. Thank you, Judge we, have we do have two participants, uh, open forum. Our first participant is Mr. Leo Longoria. Mr. Leo Longoria. Mr. Longoria, there is a three minute time limit. I will advise you when there is one minute and I will start when you start. Yes, sir. Judge, commissioners, Members of the audience, may it please you. May I approach, sir? Yes, sir. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Judge, commissioners, thank you for allowing me to be before you. And again, it's really exciting to be before Commissioner's Court. It's been a while since I made a presentation, and so it's, a, it's an honor to be here. Sir, the reason why I'm here is I feel that uh, full disclosure, I wanted the elected officials to know the, uh, the mission that we've embarked ourselves in. Since I retired back uh, 13, 14 years ago from law enforcement, I had it in my heart to, to address uh, what happens to us first responders. Uh, we forget who we really were, we were a child, we were a husband, we were, we were a brother. And sometimes, as law enforcement officers, we need to shed that law enforcement feeling and be a little meek and remember that we're a husband and that we're a father first. And with that, we have a first responder crisis intervention that we're putting together, and I had it in my heart to put, to put this mission together to address not only law enforcement officers, uh, paramedics, firefighters, doctors, and nurses. They see a lot of uh, trauma, uh, trauma in, in, in the fields that they're in, and, and we care about, about them, and we want to be on a mission to, to address any of their concerns. Uh, and it's kind of ironic that today we, we, uh, we're here, and um, Captain Cortez, one of, one of our deputies here is going to be one of our presenters on October the 14th and we're 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 honored to have him and if you may if I may indulge you uh, we're approaching our second annual first responder crisis intervention last year's event was very impactful uh, how we got to witness God move in people's lives of our first responders this year's presenters will be pouring into uh, our lives on how to navigate our profession and our family life from a biblical perspective. Now, some, some of us are not bold enough to say that, and I just wanted to address the commissioner's court of what my mission is, and if you hear, I am the Leo Longoria, that's what I'm doing, and, and I will not take up any more of your time or the audience time, and with that, sir, gentlemen, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you. <clears throat> Our next presenter is Ms. Fern McClarity. Commissioners, <clears throat> I am here to express my uh, opposition to the existing county tax rate. The county is collecting more taxes because of growth and therefore the rates should be lowered. I have reviewed the top 10 rate, uh, rates in Texas based on population. I did not review all 254 counties, but they all stated their comments about their tax, uh, taxes like this. Fort Bend County, Texas has one of the highest median property taxes in the United States, and it is ranked 57th in, uh, in median uh, property taxes. They all seem proud of the fact that they are the highest, but they have obviously not reviewed our tax rate. Let me read a couple of the tax rates from the list. Del Dallas County, 22 cents. Tarrant County, 22 cents. Bear County, 28, and they also have a hospital district, so that's another 28 cents. Travis has 32, Collin County has 15, Denton has 23, 
El Paso is 48. My point is the ma a majority of the counties in Texas have a lower tax rate, and if they can do it, so can we. A, rate, a tax rate of 57.5 cents combined with the 30% rate of inflation with only <clears throat> increased poverty. It will make it more difficult <clears throat> to live and support a family, and the county is responsible for this. The effect of your participation in the businesses lockdown is still with us. And instead of identifying the problem and taking positive action, you insist on increasing taxes, increasing spending. Hidalgo County has now sold $380 million in bonds, and there is more to come because the courthouse is not finished. The big question is how is the courthouse project going to improve the lives of the people? When a state representative criticized the county for moving too slow and not taking advantage of available funds, there needs to be a change. Everything is different, divided into precincts, and they just add problems. Each commissioner is moving in a different direction, and that increased costs. If someone in the private sector is doing the job, support the effort. Do not take over just to have control. The participation of the government always costs more. And I'm hoping today I also signed up uh, the, that the tax rate now last year's was 0 0.5750, and the no new revenue tax could be 0 0.5142 and bring in more money. Uh, last year's tax will bring in more, uh, 27308601 above what the county already has. Thank you. We have no more participants, Judge. Is that it, Valley? Yes, sir. We're going to go into closed session. So pursuant to Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, we'll be retiring to closed session to discuss items listed in Code Sections 551.071, zero seven four, and point zero eight seven. I have a motion to do so. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion <coughs> carries. I have 2.45 p.m. Okay, it's 3.42. We're back from closed session. I'd like to have a motion to re to recess our uh, commissioner's court meeting so we can go into the workshop. A motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. We're not much. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. I have a motion to reconvene the commissioner's court meeting. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We're back, we're back to our commissioner's court. Judge, if, if you don't mind, do you, do you mind taking one thing out of order, please? Sure. Item 13 B and C, we have the, um, okay. the MPO. Say the number again, 13 what? Well, 13 C for sure, but the MPO, I think they've got some representatives here. and <coughs> They're anxious to get back to work. Okay. 13 e the pres uh, presentation of the audit financial report for no no this is uh, thir 13c, 13C discussion yes. consideration action on memorandum of understanding regarding the RGV MPO safe streets and roads for all comprehensive okay action plan good afternoon judge county commissioners for the record my name is Javier Dominguez and I am a transportation planner at the Rio Grande Valley Metropolitan Planning Organization here today to give the great news that our comprehensive safety action plan uh, was awarded under the safe streets and roads for all program that was enacted with the IIJA or infrastructure bill uh, we got awarded a $250,000 award to complete our first region-wide comprehensive safety action plan which covers the three county area of star Hidalgo and Cameron counties um, some of you might have remembered from last year when I came around asking for letters of commitment for our application uh, essentially, our plan is to look at the 28 proven safety countermeasures and select which ones are most relevant to our area and try to identify certain um, proven safety countermeasures that we can identify as future pilot projects and apply for an implementation fund. Um, we were instructed in the notice of funding opportunity to use the 2019 American Community Survey population estimates. Uh, that being said, the area we covered was about 1,176,555 people, and we uh, divided the local match contribution by population percentage, and Hidalgo County holds 73% of that population. The federal grant was 200,000, and the local match was 50,000. 
Um, last year we came in and we got a letter of commitment from you here at the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court to provide an amount of up to 46500 uh, We ended up getting four local match contributors instead of just the three. So today we're here asking for you guys to take action and approve an MOU between Hidalgo County and the Lower Rio Grande Valley Development Council being that they are our fiscal agent um, to uh, provide the local match of 36500 so it's actually 10,000 less than what we came uh, asking in that letter of commitment last year. Um, in the MOU, just for full transparency, they've asked for that amount to be uh, sent over within 30 days of signing of the MOU uh, between all three parties. And between Hidalgo County, the RGV MPO, and the LRGVDC, that way we can go ahead and proceed with the RFP process and uh, get started um, with selecting the R consultants. Um, and I also just wanted to also just share the invite again, anyone from Hidalgo County, I know there's a couple of you who are very familiar with the MPO and familiar with the staff, and we look forward to working with you with the development of this plan. Um, they gave us three years to complete the plan, but we want to complete it within a year or so, so that we make sure that we're able to apply for an implementation <laughs> fund. This program is only available for five years, so we want to make sure that we catch it in year possibly four or five by the time we finish. Um, this is already the second year, so it would take a year. We might not meet the deadline for year three, but year four we can apply for an implementation uh, award so that we can start implementing some of the pilot projects that we select in this uh, action plan. Uh, and with that, that, I'm done. If you have any questions. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Item 13E. 13E, yes, thank you, Judge Commissioners. Uh, and again, this is in compliance with the statute. This is presentation and acceptance. And by presentation, it's what's been attached to the agenda and is acceptance of the 2022 Audited Financial Report for Hidalgo County Emergency Service District Number 2. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I'm going to go to item 18A. That's a discussion and an action on the order restricting outdoor burning. Marshall, are you there? I am here, sir. And by All right, right, I'm 18A. here. 18A. 18A. Agenda item uh, 92028, Romero Garza. Uh, this is the uh, discussion, consider consideration, and action on order restricting outdoor burning. Uh, as you know, uh, well know, uh, we've had some uh, pretty significant fires here in the past couple of weeks. Uh, back on August 11th, uh, 2023, uh, correction, August 10th, 2023, we had a uh, large scale grass fire, brush fire south of Grand Hill. Uh, luckily, uh, we, were, we were saved, the community was saved uh, from one, the border wall, uh, prevented that that fire from jumping over into the community uh, and to the great effort of our local fire departments along with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Uh, on August 11th, uh, 2023, uh, I spoke to the uh, the Texas Forestry Service. Uh, we're looking at the, um, the drought index uh, in your packet there. You should have that attachment. Uh, that was... Uh, that this is a Keech Byram uh, drought index, also known as uh, KBDI. Uh, on the August 11th, uh, those uh, drought levels were at you know some areas of the county, especially out in that western part, uh, were at 600 to 700. What does that mean? Uh, the drought index ranges from zero to 800. Uh, where a drought index of zero represents no moisture depletion and an index of 800 uh, represents absolutely dry conditions. As of today, uh, at uh, this morning, our current conditions are at six and 700, which is saying that it's, it's really, really dry. Uh, on August 11th, the Texas governor's office and the, and the governor uh, declared a uh, wildfire disaster. Uh, they issued a wildfire disaster declaration uh, to include uh, Hidalgo County. Uh, so we're uh, 100, uh, there's 191 uh, counties that, that, uh, that this declaration uh, took effect. 
Uh, and like I said, Hidalgo County is one. So what I'm asking uh, for the court to consider is a, a burn ban uh, for Hidalgo County. Uh, we, we had a burn ban last year, so this is a 90 day burn ban. Um, 90 days would put us into November 20th, 2023. Um, and basically uh, it would, you know, we would be working with the Texas Forestry Service uh, monitoring our weather conditions uh, in the uh, in the ban or in the order uh, we're not excluding outdoor burning uh, completely uh, the residents who uh, reside out in the rural areas that don't have trash pickup uh, they will be allowed to burn and dispose of their household trash as long as they're following our guidelines here at the fire marshal's office uh, through the permit process. Uh, and so I'm asking consideration and, and action uh, on your approval of a 90 day burn ban for Hidalgo County. Okay, may I have a motion please? Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries, thank you Marshal. We're gonna go to thank item. You. Appreciate you. 19A. 17. Ricardo. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, Judge Commissioners. Come before you with a presentation, discussion, and necessary action to terminate the local state of disaster for County of Hidalgo due to public health emergency on COVID-19. May I read number two? Sure. Presentation and discussion authorization for the county judge to sign the required documents. After discussion with Eddie Olivares and uh, Dr. Melendez on, on the status of covid we went from pandemic to an endemic. So I believe it's appropriate now to, to pull that emergency order and I, recom I recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. We can go to Thank item. You. Thank you. We can go to item 17A. Irma, we've, we've, we've let you wait long enough. That's all right. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Irma Pena for the Head Start program and thank you, Judge and Commissioners. Uh, item A, discussion and approval of area distribution for program year 23-24. This distribution will, because with the closure of some of our aging facilities and also the opening of some of our facilities within the district, uh, we needed to do the redistribution for the area parent representatives. I'm asking for approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Uh, item B, uh, requesting approval of application and certificate for payment for invoice number 18221013 in the amount of 49600 for professional services submitted by Lauren, Laura Warren, project architect, the Warren Group Architects, Inc., through contract C21006102. AS for the Hidalgo County Head Start Program, Outdoor Learning Environments and Discovery Classrooms. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion carries. Thank you, sir. Uh, item C, uh, request approval of application and certificate for payment for invoice number 0924 in the amount of 263,512 for educational services submitted <coughs> by Versailles Inc. Teach Us Texas through contract C23. 0030517 AS for the education preparation program and this is for the certification for teachers and also bilingual certification. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item D, requesting approval for the application and certificate for the payment of invoice uh, number TJ11309 in the amount of $280.30 for professional services submitted by Terracon Engineering, Geotechnical Engineer through contract C21006102 AS for the Valve County Head Start Program Outdoor Learning Environments and Discovery Classrooms. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, item E, discussion and approval of advertised for competitive seal proposals for the construction of the Valve County Head Start Program Outdoor Learning Center pending legal review, which has already been reviewed with authority to re-advertise when and if necessary. So motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. 
Item F, discussion and approval for, to request to enter into a three-year memorandum of understanding for school readiness partnership with Far San Juan Alamo ISD. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Item G, discussion and approval for a Valley County Head Start program to enter into an interlocal agreement for one-year term with Far San Juan Alamo ISD. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion aye. carries. Item H, uh, request to purchase one uh, Chevrolet 4500 4, Express cutaway with box vehicle for the Eval County, from the Eval County membership participation with Texas Association School Board by Boards Award Vendor Contract Number C, excuse me, Contract 60119 Caldwell Country Chevrolet. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And our final item is request to purchase three cargo vans through the Val County membership participation with Texas Association of School Board by Board awarded vendor contract number 60119 with Caldwell Country Chevrolet to include administrative fees. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Commissioners. Have a blessed day. What item are we on? Seven? Uh, item seven. Seven district courts. 449. Good afternoon, commissioners. Melissa Flores on behalf of Judge Renato Diaz Bencourt. Um, the first item we have on the agenda is item 7A, A92071, entitled Hidalgo County Lifelines Girls Juvenile Mental Health Court Program. Approval to continue the payment of salary for one case manager being paid by the Lifelines Girls Juvenile Mental Health Court Grant pending the award of the 2024 fiscal year grant. So motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, AI 92069, entitled Juvenile Drug Court Program. Approval to continue the payment of salary for one case manager being paid by the Hidalgo County Juvenile Drug Court Grant pending the award of the 2024 fiscal year grant. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I'm going to jump to 21 because Hilda's here in the audience. If you want to present your item. <clears throat> Thank you. And we'll get you next, Nago. I'll get your item next after this, okay. since you're here in person. Everybody on Zoom is working. <laughs> okay. Um, good afternoon, judge and commissioners. Um, Hilda Salinas here, elections administrator, to present to you today. Um, item one, discussion on election updates. Uh, we are in preparation for the November 7, 2023 Special Constitutional Amendment election and local entities elections. Currently, we are going to administer 16 elections, and they include various cities, school districts, constitutional amendments, and uh, for the state of Texas. The last day to register to vote or to make a change to your voter registration to be eligible to vote in this election is Tuesday, October 10th, and we encourage everyone to visit. Uh, 213 South Klausner in Edinburgh uh, to make any changes. The first day of early voting is Monday, October 23rd, and it will run through Friday, November 3rd. Polling locations will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. throughout early voting, except for Sunday, October 29th. Voting hours will be open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Election day is November 7th, and polling locations will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, we encourage voters to visit our website at www.hidalgocounty.us forward slash elections, as well as give us a call at 956-318-2570. Uh, that's all I have for uh, election updates. Do you have any questions? Okay. Item number two, discussion consideration and authority for the county judge to order the November 7th, 2023 special constitutional amendment election as submitted by the 88th legislature regular and second special session. Uh, this amendment election is ordered by the governor. 
However, the Commissioner's Court should also complete the local order to ensure that all required actions related to the election have been completed. I recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All carries say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, item number three. Discussion, consideration, and approval of the early voting polling locations for the November 7th, 2023 Special Constitutional Amendment election. Uh, these polling locations uh, have been given to you, and they are the standard polling locations that we do use for all various and previous uh, elections. I recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Discussion and consideration, well, item number four. Discussion and consideration and approval of election day polling locations as recommended by the Hidalgo County Election Board in accordance with Texas Election Code 42.008. The County Election Board did meet uh, last week to discuss the consolidation of precincts that are being reflected and represented in the election day polling locations that you do see before you. Um, do you have any questions? I recommend approval. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dago. And that would be item 27A, Commissioner. We're going to budget, yes, sir. All right. We do have a public participation form for Ms. <coughs> Firma Clarity on 27A. Mr. Soto, go ahead. Item 27A, uh, it will be four parts. Number one, submission of the 2023 no new revenue and voter approved uh, tax rates. Number two, discussion of 2023 planning calendar. Number three, discussion of 2023 tax rates. Number four, uh, record vote on proposed 2023 tax rate and schedule of public hearing. We don't need four people for that. The can you give a super majority? The actual adoption of the tax rate, you need <coughs> the four, you need minimum. That's the one in September? That's right? the one in September, correct? Right. Mr. Yeah. Soto, so, if, I'm, if, if my memory serves. Yes, me. yes. So t today for the, this, the vote for the vote for the proposed, for and the then 26 is to actually adopt. And you need four members. Correct. Okay. Let's remember You're that okay next time, days, just in case somebody has to leave. Yes. Um, are we going to hear this beautiful so young Ms. lady in the, in the audience? So, yes, Ms. Fern. almost lost my paper. I was, it took so long. Uh, I noticed that we're talking about this says last year's tax rate is 0 0.5750. And the no new revenue tax rate could be 0 0.5142. And so this is what we're asking for is that the tax rate, because with the, uh, this one amount, the last year's rate, you bring in 27,308,601 over what you collected last year. So like I said, the taxpayers and the ones that call me are pleading that you not rate, you lower the tax rate, not just say, oh, we're gonna leave it at what it was last year because we're so <laughs> sweet. That's still costing us. So please lower the tax rate or consider it. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Which, which item are we on specifically? Uh, it was 27, 27A, so I don't know if so, so you're on 27A1. action on four, right? 27A, well, 27A, one, two, three, and, and four. Yeah, you need to take action on four separately. Okay. Okay, so. So make a motion to approve 27A, one, two, and three. Is that do sufficient? Do you need no, approval there's only, those it's or only those? four. They're just discussion Which one? items. Valde? Only four is an action item. 27A, four. Right, 27A towards the action item. So, Mr. Soto, so you've you, you, you went ahead, you went ahead and already uh, uh, talked about 27A1, which is a 2020 non revenue and voter approval tax rates. Correct. Correct. Yes. All right. So then you have now discussion on, uh, well, you've you've done the submission. Excuse me. Submission. 
So, Mr. Well, yes. So, yes. so for the item, just to clear the item uh, that's being presented is uh, what these uh, the calculation of the no new revenue compared to which are the benchmarks that the tax office uh, pr provides every provides, year. Correct. So, we want to make sure that the, that the commissioner's court and did did receive the, the submission of what these of what the what those calculations are. Okay. That's so that step. that's item one. So yes. item two is then now your planning calendar discussion of the of the uh, twenty three planning calendar. Okay, so so uh, so on the uh, planning calendar, uh, typically at this at this uh, for the calendar today will be the day for the proposal of of, of the tax rate, and then we do need to have one public hearing uh, between now and its adoption, and then we are planning on September twenty sixth, the last meeting of uh, September, to one adopt the rate, and then we're after and then to coincide with that adopt the, the budget. And when is your, when is your scheduled uh, public hearing on the twenty sixth as well? So the public it could be the it, it would it could be it, it could actually be the day before uh, I'm sorry it could be the, the day of the same meeting it could actually be before the uh, the adoption of the rate. Is that what you're recommending? Uh, I, I I recommend either that day or the on the next commissioners uh, or the meeting. commissioners court before which, which would a bit which would be the um, the twelfth the twelfth so between those those two days. Is it not till the 12th? For the, for, for the public hearing. hearing. Well, but that's our next meeting. No. Yes. Yeah. Well, yes, Commissioner. But please note that the, if I'm not, if I recall correctly, the drainage district says that they're going to have a public hearing on the 19th and the 26th. Did I? Because I made the comment that please note that the 19th is a morning session and the 26th is an afternoon session. Or was it just so? If I recall correctly, correct. So they're having a public hearing on the 19th. On both days? On the 19th and on the 26th. 26th is uh, afternoon and the 19th is morning. Right. So, so please, so I, just so that the court knows, uh, that there, there will be a, a 19th uh, drainage district because of the public hearing. We might as well knock it out sometime. Okay, so. Okay. Right, so we'll, we'll have it for the Thanks September for the 19th. 19th. All right, okay. so you make your appropriate uh, appropriate notation with respect to the uh, advertisement yes all right so the 19th then all right September 19th okay now you have item 3 discussion of the 23 tax rates yes so just uh, as uh, also what is uh, attached as, uh, as as the benchmark um, you know it tells you the you know the rate that would be that would generate the dollar from last year which is um, uh, anything below that wouldn't need a, a uh, actually, wouldn't even need public uh, uh, a public hearing. But if it's at least that or higher, you do need a public hearing. And then it tells you the voter approve rate, the highest the highest amount you could you could um, a, a vote uh, vote on before um, before you need voter approval, which is just shy of uh, uh, around sixty cents. Um, but recommendation is to be in between in between those two two amounts. Um, and based on what we showed on the proposed budget was uh, based on last year's property tax rate of 57 and a half cents. So before you go to item four, uh, are you recommending the uh, the same tax rate? Or are you recommending? If, uh, if from the uh, Department of Budget um, Office, we, we do recommend the same tax rate. Okay, so Judge Commissioners, again, just be reminded, a uh, friendly reminder, my apologies. Uh, when you go to record the vote on the proposed 20, uh, 2023 tax rate, whatever rate that you are going to vote on as a proposed, that is the max. You can always go down, but cannot go up. So that would be the max. Okay. So, Mr. Soto, before you go to item four, uh, commissioners uh, and, and Ms. Josie, items one, two, and three, uh, just so we could put on the record, could we have a motion acknowledging the submission, the discussion of the calendar, and the discussion of the tax rate? Sure. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. All right. That will be the, the action acknowledging those first three items. So now you have Mr. Soto, item four. Uh, yes, 27A4, uh, a record vote on proposed 2023 tax rate and scheduled public hearing. So to be clear, can you please state what both of those are? Okay, so uh, staff recommendation, 
uh, to Commissioner's Court is to have the same tax rate uh, last year at 57 and a half cents uh, per $100 valuation of taxable um, property values and to schedule a public hearing as discussed for September 19th. Okay, so motion. Second. All in favor, raise your hand. Or? Yes. Say aye. Oh, just all say aye. aye. Just say aye. 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 Right. So that it's noted on the so record. All three. Okay. Unanimous. Unanimous. <laughs> motion Sorry. carries. And, and Mr. Soto, just to be clear, and again, this is just, you know, from a format standpoint, it's 0. 0.5750, correct? Yes, 0. 0. 0.5750. <coughs> okay. Okay. All right, All right. Uh, go on to the next item. Yes, sir. All right. Yes. All right, 27B, approval to enter into a interlocal cooperation agreement between Hidalgo County and Hidalgo County Community Supervision and Corrections Department for fiscal year 2024 in relation to the drug court and alternative incarceration, incarceration program with the authority for a county judge as authorized official to execute agreement. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And uh, B2, approval of interfund transfer. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. 27C. Uh, discussion, consideration, and approval of uh, MV Magic Valley purchase uh, purchase of power agreements for the installation of streetlights for Mirage Ranches and Mayan Phase Three located in Precinct Four. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Twenty-seven D. Yeah. Requesting approval to amend the project description and budget for the cybersecurity detection and uh, response project, which is ARPA-22-200-043, category 1.14. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, 27B2, a discussion, consideration, and action to approve the use of ARPA funds for the Hidalgo County Juvenile Mental Health Facility Project, ARPA-23-330-344. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number, th number three. Discussion, consideration, and action to approve the use of ARPA funds for the Hidalgo County Juvenile Detention Center Retro Fits Project, ARPA-23-115-343. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Uh, 27E1. Uh, approval of 2023 appropriation of funds from road maintenance fund balance in the amount of $28,167.73 to fund anticipated expenditures. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. 27E2. Approval of certification of revenues by county auditor in the amount of $178,902.78 in relation to labor reimbursement received from drainage district number one for the Raymondville drainage project and appropriation of same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. We're going back to a district attorney's office. Thank you. Mr. Good afternoon, Judge uh, Commissioner Shosalinda Cantu presenting for the district attorney's office. Item A, a DA's Victim Assistance Program Fund 1281. We're asking for approval to submit a VAP grant number 2924305 budget adjustment to the Office of the Governor. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 8B, uh, the DA's Victim Coordinator and Liaison Grant Fund 1281. We're asking for approval to continue payment of salaries for one victim assistance coordinator currently being paid by the VCLG grant pending the award of the fiscal year 2024-2025 grant. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 8C, the district attorney's estate supplement fund 1281. We're asking for approval of one of two. Approval to accept the fiscal year 2024 uh, DA State Supplement Grant Award from the Texas Comptroller of Public Accounts Judiciary Section in the amount of $22,500. We're also asking for approval of certification of revenues as certified by the County Auditor for the fiscal year 2024 DA State Supplement Grant in the amount of $22,500 and appropriation of the same. So moved. 
Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 8D, Board of Prosecution Grant Fund 1281. We're asking for approval to continue the payment of salaries for four assistant district attorneys, one investigator, and one legal assistant being paid by the Board of Prosecution Grant pending the award of the fiscal year 2024 grant. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Sheriff's Office. Thank you for your patience. Uh, good afternoon, just good afternoon, commissioners. Captain Stephen Cortez presenting on behalf of Sheriff Eddie Guerra. Item number nine A. There are three items on that section. With your approval, I'll read all three consecutively. Please. Number one, uh, item nine A. Fiscal year 2022 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant JAG 1282. Requesting authorization and approval to submit a grant award modification in reference to JAG Fiscal Year 2022 grant to the U.S. Department of Justice Bureau of Justice Assistance. Number two, requesting authorization and approval to have authorized officials sign any related documents. And item 983, requesting authorization and approval to have Idaho County Sheriff sign any related documents. So moved. Second. All the favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 9B, there are seven. Uh, items on that section. With your approval, I'll read all seven consecutively. Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Grant, JAG 1282. Number one, authorization and approval to apply for the fiscal year 2023 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant program with the United States Department of Justice. Number two, discussion and consideration, review and approval of the program application narrative for the grant. Number three, authorization for county judge to sign the required documentation. Number four, authorization for the county executive officer to sign required forms required for the fiscal year 2023 JAG program applications. Number five, authorization for county judge to sign OMB number 4040-0004 as authorized representative. Number six, authorization for county sheriff to sign OMB number 4040-0013 as Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office Department head. And item seven, Authorization for county judge to certify the required documentation and application under grants management system as authorized official. And it's and, and commissioners in its entirety. This is again for the record the Edwards Burn Memorial Justice Assistance Grant, which is fund twelve eighty two. Yes, sir. Yeah. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item nine C, Sheriff's Office under twelve twenty nine. Approval for 2023 appropriation of funds into Sheriff's DOJ from the unassigned fund balance in the amount of $54,000. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 9D, <clears throat> jail commissary 2102. Approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor and appropriation of funds in the amount of $402,456.86. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 9E, discussion, consideration, and approval to appoint Victor Gonzalez, student at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley as an intern under the Dow County Sheriff's Office Law Enforcement Internship Program for the period of August 2023 to December of 2023. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 9F, discussion and consideration and approval to appoint Sonia Moreno, student at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley as an intern under the Dow County Sheriff's Office Law Enforcement Internship Program for the period of August 2023 to December of 2023. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 9G, discussion, discussion, consideration, and approval to appoint Hannah Sunica, student of the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley as an intern under Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office Law Enforcement Internship Program for the period of August 2023 to December of 2023. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, do you have a particular item on here? Since you're waiting, do you, sir? Yeah, I'm going to put item 15B. 15B. You're not going to present A? Oh, 15A and B, correct? Uh, Are you presenting for Urban County? Oh, you're not with Urban County? 
Oh, oh, you're the okay. engineer. Okay. Um, so well, we can still bring them up if yes, if Steve De La Garza is there, item 15, Urban County, uh, it's going to be a representative. Okay. Urban County, please. Where's Lupita? Yes, sir. Lupita Garcia with Urban mm -hmm. County, CBG manager. Okay. Go ahead. Um, we have two items. Good afternoon, sorry, Commissioner and um, Judge. Um, we have two items. Item 15A. Um, A is. Um, Request an exemption from competitive bidding requirement pursuant to the Texas Local Government Code 262.024A7A, an item that can only be obtained from one source because of this, its existence of patent, copyright, secret processes, and monopoly. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item two is acceptance and approval of the sole source declaration for a Diatron US Inc with authority to purchase through the supplier Medline Industries, LP, and the total amount of $37,934.35 for the purchase of a Gemini Auto Elisa Analyzer and testing supplies for the CDPG CV other public services funding will be utilized. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye. motion carries. And item uh, 15B. Subject to compliance with HB 1295, the Urban County Program is requesting approval to, of a best and final negotiated contract for professional engineering services with Sames Inc. in the amount of $20,538.75, utilizing CDBG fiscal year 35, 2000, I'm sorry, 2022, City of Sullivan City and Precinct Number 3 Street Improvement Funding and the approval of the work authorization number one. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Commissioners. Number 10. Item 10, Constable Precinct 2. Sorry, Com you Commissioners, with your permission for Constable Precinct 2. Uh, uh, Constable uh, Cantu is requesting author authorization for County Judge Richard Cortez and Constable Martin and Cantu as head of the department to sign the CEO law enforcement certification and Insurance is formed for participation in all aspects of the programs and procedures um, uh, unitized by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Constable Precinct 3, item 11. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Judge and Commissioners. I'm Chief Deputy Jerry Samona with uh, Precinct 3, rep representing uh, Larry Gallardo, Constable. Uh, under 11A, a AI 91849, Constable Precinct 3 Stop Truancy Program 1285. Number one, approval to renew the memorandum of understanding between Hidalgo County and La Jolla ISD for the fiscal year 2024, period of September 1st, 2023 to August 31st, 2024, in relation to the Stop Truancy Program with authority of County Judge as authorized official to execute agreement. Motion Number two, approval of certification of revenues as certified by the county auditor and appropriation of the same. And three, approval of, to continue payment of salaries for three deputy constable positions getting paid from the Mission CISD Memorandum of Understanding pending renewal of agreement for fiscal year 2024. Motion to approve 11A123. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Constable Precinct 4. Uh, commissioners 12A, A1-91966, uh, discussion, consideration, approval to appoint Nicolas Guerrero, Jr. as Deputy Constable by Constable Gaitan, myself, Constable Precinct 4, in accordance with Texas Local Government Code Section 86.001. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Commissioners. Commissioners, with your permission, uh, item 13A, 1, 2, and 3, there's no action or discussion uh, this week. Item 13B, requesting approval of the appointment of Michael J. Williamson by the City of McAllen to serve as Director of the Hidalgo County Regional Mobility Authority. This is a two-year term. I didn't realize. We, we approved those? Uh, it, 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 it comes to us, but uh, McAllen's already done. Uh, it's their action, but we're part of the, the whole group. Okay. So I just how, don't remember approving them. So they named the Director of the RMA? Their position, they're, they're appointing, they're, right? Yes, it's their position. Let, give it's me two. Director of the Delta County. I think they're all called directors, like trustees. Yes, it's. Let me, let me look it up here real quick. So it's just an appointment to the. Government. It's their appointment, correct? Okay. I just never seen it on here. 
Yeah, let me just get it here real quick. I've got it right here. <clears throat> So the letter that was submitted, uh, it is from the city, and <coughs> it was uh, addressed to the judge. Uh, I mean, we can approve it. It's no big deal. I just have never seen it before. Let's just approve it before they approve it. It, 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 it does say uh, director of the Hidalgo County Regional Mobility Authority, and again, they're asking uh, for the court's approval. This was submitted, to, uh, again, the letter is to the county judge's office. I guess we just need clarification. Is he their representative, or are they asking him to serve as executive director? I can. Get, I'll get that clarification. Uh, the, the Would email, you come back to it? Yes. Uh, the, uh, yes. This is recommended to serve. It's uh, the email states that it was uh, was recommended to serve as board director for the uh, regional mobility authority. Uh, they, the city of Miguel took this action on July 24th at the regular commission meeting. <coughs> uh, and so the mayor, uh, Mr. Mayor Villalobos, was requested to submit his nomination for approval to the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court. Is that the approval process, though, for, the, for that position? Yeah, this, this is the only information yeah, that I have. We've never seen that. You want to bring it back? Yeah. So we can take a look at it? Yes. I mean, we always bring our appointees right. up here. Yes. And it has nothing. I, I, Michael Williamson is a friend of mine. I've just never seen another entity bring their yes. appointee here. Um, I don't know if this is if this would be time sensitive by way of. So, can you have somebody call? Can you have Monica call? Yes. Let me get uh, by by our discussion right now. I'm going to ask uh, Miss Monica uh, at the office. Miss Monica, can you please get clarification and and give me a call, please? I'm sure she, she's heard that. So let, let's just pass on that for right now, and I'll okay. get clarification. We'll um, item 13D is our, our Title VI uh, and ADA policy. I am recommending approval. This is discussion, consideration, and action on the following. It's our Title VI non-discrimination plan uh, and corresponding attachments. Title VI non-discrimination annual work plan and accomplishment report for the calendar year 2020, and our ADA, ADA policy and corresponding attachments. Motion to approve D1, 2, and 3. A second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. And item <coughs> F, and this is for the various uh, constables for the uh, Tropical Texas Behavioral uh, Fund 1285, is approval to enter into local, approval to enter into interlocal cooperation agreements between Hidal County and Tropical Texas Behavioral Health for the fiscal year 2023, which would be September 1st through August 31st of 2024, with authority for county judges to authorize officials to execute the agreements for the following programs, constables, Constable one in the amount of two fifty three two hundred fifty three thousand one hundred sixty six dollars. Precinct two two hundred forty four thousand four hundred fifty two dollars. Precinct four constable one hundred sixty one thousand three hundred fourteen dollars. And for the safe and security services, constable precinct one eighty two thousand eight hundred thirty three dollars. Precinct uh, four eighty two thousand eight hundred thirty three dollars. Uh, the first one that I read uh, earlier was for the mental health officer program, and the last. One would be the ju uh, justice involved uh, individuals, Constable Precinct 2, $81,484, Precinct number 4, $79,831, and Precinct number 5, $159,660, and approval to pay overtime reimbursed under the agreements uh, uh, with respect to terms and conditions, and approval of certification of revenues by the county auditor and appropriation of same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item G is approval to accept settlement offer from uh, offer from Cypress Property Casualty Insurance Company in the amount of five thousand six hundred forty-seven dollars and seventy-three cents. This will settle an auto accident claim with one of our county vehicles, and approval to authorize myself, County Executive Officer, uh, the, and that would be Valdeguerra, to sign the general release and settlement agreement for uh, to settle the auto accident claim with Cypress Property Insurance uh, Property Casualty Insurance Company. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And the last one, item H, is approval to, accept settlement, approval to accept settlement check from State Farm Insurance Company in the amount of $16,669.30 to settle a total loss auto accident claim with one of our county vehicles. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 14 Human Resources, Erica. 
Good afternoon, Commissioner. Sarika Reina for the Department of Human Resources. Item 14A, I'm requesting a waiver of the following if applicable for the personnel items listed. I need action on item number one, the Civil Service Commission rules, section 3.22, and item number three, the budget amendment policy, personnel related amendments. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 14B for County Court at Law number one, approve the following actions effective August 14, 2023, as follows. The action is to remove interpreter allowance from slot 0005 in the amount of $6,000 and add interpreter allowance to slot 0003 in the same amount, $6,000. There is no fiscal impact. I do recommend approval. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 14C for CSA, approve the following action, effective upon commissioner's court approval. The action is to create slot 0115 of program manager one in the amount of 52,106. This is for the community service block grant. I do recommend approval. So move. Motion to approve. Second. All favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 14D for the tax office, approve to create six temporary full-time positions, effective October 2nd, 2023 through December 31st, 2023 as follows. This is to create slots T264 through T269, Clark 1s at a grade one. Commissioners, these are the positions that bring, we bring annually to assist the tax office during their peak season. I do recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 14E for the health department, approval of title changes for the positions listed in exhibit A. Effective upon commissioner's court approval. This is in accordance with uh, new state legislation that was passed. We are simply uh, amending our titles, but there is no fiscal impact. I do recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And item 14F is for various departments. Approval of the following personnel uh, changes as per exhibit A, effect of the next full pay period. August 28th, 2023. Commissioners, this are uh, requests that were pending from the beginning of the year. They have been reviewed by the classification committee in accordance with our civil service commission rules. The committee does recommend approval. HR does recommend approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Have a great afternoon. You as well. Commissioners, um, I'd like to go back to item 13B. We did get the clarification. Uh, yes, this is a process that we have followed. Uh, we did this with Forest Reynolds a couple, two, three years ago. They're two-year appointments. Uh, so uh, William, uh, Michael J. Williamson will be, is, is the new appointee for your term. And we just have to accept it. Yes. Okay. So moved. Check it. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are on Health and Human Services Department. Good morning, Commissioner. It's Eddie Olivares, Alaba County Health and Human Services. We have several items today. Requested approval of mileage reimbursement and payout of extra hours related to the eighth annual no refusal weekend, uh, this Labor Day weekend, continue, uh, coordinated between Hidalgo County District Attorney's Office and Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office during the Labor Day weekend for the Health and Human Services Department staff at a rate of time and a half in addition to the employee's regular hours and or leave taken. Item number one, it's requested approval to accept. I'm oh, sorry, that's that's the item. So moved. Check it. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item is requesting uh, the approval to accept for the county judge e signature the Title V prenatal Medicare medical and dental grant services contract HHS 00068760001, amendment number five in the amount of $30,670 for the time period of September 1st, 2023 through August 31st, 2024. Motion to approve. I'm sorry, go ahead. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion carries. And item two is requested approval of certification of revenue in the amount of $30,670 and appropriations of the same. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C is the TB division is requesting authorization to accept the attached tuberculosis prevention and control federal grant contract number HHS 0010964000020 amendment number two. The purpose of this amendment is to shorten Hidalgo County's current contract by four months to August 30th, 2023 to align with the state fiscal year and implement the FY24 
award with a program period of 9-1-2023 to 8-31-2024. Number two is requested approval to de-obligate the amount of $142,376,000 in the grant funds and $28,476 in local match. And number three is requesting approval of the certification of revenue in the amount of $427,128 as certified by the county auditor in appropriations of the same and the appropriations of $85,426 in local matching funds as already approved by budget office. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye motion carries. Uh, item D is requesting approval of agreement between Rio Grande Valley College School of Nursing and the County of Hidalgo. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 aye motion carries. Under the health care funding district, uh, these items we're bringing to court because of the holidays that's coming up. We need to get uh, approval for this prior uh, because we will have no time right after the holidays to move on this. So item E1 is a discussion and consideration approval to draw down funds for demonstration year 12 of UC final payment in the amount to be determined by Health and Human Services Commission instructions from the local provider participation fund, LPPF, with a transfer date of 9-5-2023 and a settlement date of 9-6-2023. We are waiting to get that amount from the state, sir, this week, but due to the holidays, we want to act on this because they're going to have to have action right away, right after the Labor Day holiday. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item uh, number B is approval of certification of revenue and certification of the county auditors of the LPPF in the amount to be determined by Health and Human Services Commission. And item C is approval of appropriations of the fund from the LPPF in the amount to be determined by Health and Human Services Commission. Of course, all this is review reviewed by the auditor's office, budget office, treasurer's office, and tax office, and there is no impact on general fund on this at all. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. We have CSA item twenty. CSA. Hi. Good afternoon, commissioners. This is I am Leslie Villegas. I will be presenting on behalf of Jaime Longoria for Community Service Agency. I'm going to go ahead and start with twenty A A I dash nine one nine eight six discussion consideration and possible action to accept the signature document contract number HHS 0013735 in the amount of 106.57.41 cents with the Health and Human Service Commission for the Mary Corps Retired and Senior Volunteer Program to authorization, authorization for Harmony Goria to electronically sign any and all documents. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. 20B AI-91987, discussion, consideration, and possible action to accept the signature document contract number HHS 00001373500030 in the amount of 17377 cents with the Health and Human Service Commission for the Mary Corps Foster Grandparent Program. Two, authorization for Harmon Longoria to electronically sign any and all documents. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. 20 C AI-91985, discussion consideration and possible action to accept the signature document contract number HHS 0013735000039 in the amount of 20,374.44 cents with the Health and Human Service Commission for the Mary Corps Senior Companion Program. Two, authorization for Jaime Longoria to electronically sign any and all documents. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you. Um, planning Department. Mr. Oreste, before you start, Commissioners, uh, item 22A under Planning Department uh, for the record, Commissioner Fuentes will be abstaining from any discussion and or action. Tw uh, 22A1. Okay. okay. Uh, good afternoon, Commissioners. Uh, tw 22A1, we have a pipeline and utility permit uh, from Reina Construction Development. Uh, They're looking to install a 10 inch sanitary sewer line. Uh, it's an open cut approximately 900 feet west of the Soto Drive. Staff recommends approval. Motion to approve. Uh, 
Commissioner Gunther. Oh, sorry. Second uh, motion. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, for the record, Commissioner Fuentes abstained. That's good, right, Chelsea? Everything yes, fine? I mean, they're, yes. they're a majority of the quorum, so we're fine. Yes. 22B. Okay. 22B, we have preliminary approval with a variance request for Moonlight Glow subdivision in Precinct 1. It's a two-lot single family. And the reason there is a <coughs> variance is because there is a structure that encroaches our side setback by three feet. Uh, staff recommends approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Items 22B2, final approval with financial guarantee for Mabea State Subdivision, Precinct 3. This is a single lot family. Staff recommends approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Items 22B3, final approval. This is Texas 107 Development Subdivision in Precinct 4. This is a one lot commercial subdivision. Staff recommends approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Items 22B, uh, B, FD, Monte Alto subdivision in Precinct 1. This is a one lot commercial subdivision. Staff recommends approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item, item number C. This is Eduardo subdivision number 20 in Precinct 3 off the Trosper and mile six and a half North Road. This is a 79 lot single family subdivision. And staff recommends approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you. Commish Fuentes. Item 23A, discussion, consideration, action, uh, memorandum of understand of agreement, I'm sorry, by and between Hidalgo County and Cameron County for membership in the regional South Texas consortium. Make a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Do you second? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I have two items. The first one is going to be subject to legal, but it's uh, requesting approval of an interlocal cooperation agreement between the County of Hidalgo and the City of McCown regarding the lease of Charles E. Curtis Park. Make a motion to approve. Second. And this will be subject to legal. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you all. And uh, B. Requesting approval to accept a counter offer to purchase a tract of land known as Parcel 83 associated with the Precinct 2 Cesar Chavez Road Project and Business 80 from Business 83, the Nolano Loop, with authority for the county judge to sign the administrator evaluation and approval form. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you all. Commissioner Villarreal. Uh, 25A, requesting authorization and approval to extend the name of Ware Road, an extension of 2380 LF starting from 2300 LF south of Mile 16 Road. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 25A, requesting authorization and approval to name a public road that runs east to west from Wallace Road to Bryan Road in the Rio Grande Security Subdivision Number 1 as Mile 15 North Road. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Commissioner Cota's item, are you going to have to? I, I have it, sir. Uh, thank you, Belinda. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, Belinda Reyes uh, for Commissioner Eli Torres. Item 26A, requesting approval to accept counter offer to purchase tract of land known as parcel number 10 associated with the Russell Road Improvement Project route to Monmac Road with authority for the county judge to sign the administration evaluation and approved form. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. We did budget and management. We're at the purchasing department. Good afternoon, your commissioners, Mr. Guerra, for the record, Ignacio Mesco from the purchasing department. I will start with agenda 28A for Hidalgo County. One, acceptance and approval of amendment number two between Hidalgo County and Hidalgo County Community Supervision and correction department for interlocal lease agreement for the substance abuse treatment facility building with authority for county yours to sign any documents. So moved. Check it. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion carries. 28B for precinct one. One, requesting authority to reject all bid received for request for bid Sunrise Hill Park playground surfacing materials and installation project as bid received was over budget. I recommend to approve. So moved. Check it. All in favor say aye. 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 aye motion carries. 
28C for precinct two, one approval to purchase one. CAT 416F lawyer backup from Big D Tractor through the county's membership participation with Purchasing Cooperative of America under contract number PCA OD32820 in a total amount of $129,500. I recommend to approve. So moved. Second. All the parents say aye. 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 Motion carries. 28D for precinct three, one, no action. 28E for precinct four, one. Requesting approval of work authorization number one with an estimate cost of $69,335 with 10 cents as submitted by Aptin Environmental and Infrastructure through Hidalgo County's Professional Engineering Service Agreement to provide groundwater and land field gas monitoring and reporting. I recommend to approve. So moved. Second. All the favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Two. Requesting authority to accept an award construction contract for Hidalgo County. Precinct 4 construction for mile 17 road stone water project to the lowest responsive and responsible bidder, RDH site and concrete, for a total amount of $634,569, with authority to issue notice to proceed upon receipt of the required payment and performance bonds. I recommend to approve. Second. Motion to approve. No motion, I'm sorry. I thought he made the motion. <laughs> Second. 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 Make a motion to approve. Second. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. It's late. We are requesting authority to set an award construction contract for Hidalgo County Precinct 4 North Main Drain 3 Phase 2 Stone Water Project to the lowest responsive and responsible bidder, more will for the total amount of $2,399,741.27 with with authority to issue notice to proceed upon receipt of the required payment and performance bonds. Recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All of your say aye. 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 Motion carries. For requesting authority to accept an award construction contract for the Hidalgo County Precinct 4 North Main Drain 3 Phase 1 to the lowest responsible <coughs> and responsible bidder, the 5125 company, for a total amount of $1,444,444, with authority to issue notice to proceed upon receipt of the required payment and performance bonds. Recommend to approve. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. By requesting acceptance and approval of certificate of construction completion from Morwell LLC for the Hidalgo County Precinct 4 Cohen Stone Water Project with a final payment amount of $70,988 with 84 cents. I recommend by project engineer Hidalgo County Drainage District Number 1 with authority for county use to sign or require documentation. Comment approved. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Six. Requesting acceptance and approval of the certificate. Certification of construction completion from Blue Dot Site and Utilities for the Hidalgo County Precinct 4 Anchor Ranches Stormwater Project, as recommended by Project Engineer Hidalgo County Drainage District No. 1, with the authority for county use to sign all required documentation. Comment to approve. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 28F for the IT Department. One, requesting approval to purchase Cisco dual subscription and hardware tokens through. Hidalgo County's membership with the IR cooperative contract from inside public sector in the total amount of $197,657.15. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Two, requesting approval to renew the maintenance agreement with SHI Information Technology Solutions and services for NeoCop through Omnia cooperative contract in the amount of $113,635.45. Comment to approve. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 28G for the Health and Human Service Department. One, requesting approval to exercise the 30 day termination notice as stated in the lease agreement with CACT Texas, are requested by Hidalgo County Health and Human Service Department due to service no longer being needed. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Mm -hmm. To requesting acceptance and approval for the best and final negotiator offer meeting all requirements for the service contract between Hidalgo County and HEV are extra advantage for online pharmacy building services with authority for the county use to sign any additional documents. So moved. Second. All favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Three. A. Requesting approval of lab technology and equipment agreement between Hidalgo County Health Department and McKeeson Medical Surgical for the purchase of lab DAQ. LIS software package and prepay annual maintenance from their distributor, McKeeson, through Hidalgo's County membership with Sorcerer 
cooperative in the amount of $150,255 with 60 cents with authority for, for the county jurisdiction or required documents. Comment to approve. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Be requesting approval to enter into a 36 month sober license and service agreement between Hidalgo County Health Department and Compute Group Medical for the prepaid annual maintenance for the lab DAQ equipment with authority for the county justice and all requirement documents. I recommend to approve. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 28 H for facilities management. One. Requesting approval to award your or the contract to Rio United Builders to Hidalgo County membership with tips for the well Echo Health and Week Cleaning Parking Lot Improvement Project in the amount of $50,580 with authority to issue an order to proceed upon receipt of the required payment bond. The comment to approve. So to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Two. Requesting approval to award your or the contract GNS Glass through Hidalgo County membership with tips for the Hidalgo County Annex 3 wet glazing of glass to frame project in the amount of $72,628.71 with, with authority to issue orders to proceed upon receipt of the required payment bond. Recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 28 I for Sherry's office. One, requesting acceptance and approval of payment application number one in the amount of $152,366.10 with 10 cents as submitted by Noble Texas Builders for the renovation and repairs of the Lee's Willacy County Detention Facility Project with authority for the county treasurer to issue payment after review and auditing procedures are completed by county, county auditor and authority to issue a manual check if applicable. Comment to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Two, requesting approval to award American Surveillance Company through Hidalgo County membership with tips for the fire alarm system and installation for Willacy County Detention Facility in the amount of $247,360 with authority to issue an order to proceed upon receipt of the required payment and performance bonds. Recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 28 J for County Clerk 1 approval to enter into interlocal cooperation contract with the Department of State Health Services and Hidalgo County for access to the Texas Electronic Viral events registrar for four year period to commence September 1st, 2023 and expire on August 31st, 2027 with option to re renew for one additional year for a max contract term of five years. Recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 28K for county Y. One requesting approval to award contract to Universe Corporation for mat, dust, mop, shop, racks, and towels. Cleaning and rental services for the lowest responsive and responsible bidder meeting all Hidalgo County specification requirements with authority for the county use to sign all documents. Recommend to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Two, requesting approval to award Texas land reclamation DBAT UTW tire collection services. The most responsive responsible bidder meeting all Hidalgo County specification requirements for the tire disposal services with authority for county use to sign all documents. I recommend to approve. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. All right. I have motion carries. Thank you. Have a good afternoon, Commissioners. You too. Commissioners, with your permission, under item 29, 29A1, 29B, and 29C, there is no action and or discussion this, uh, this week to be taken. Item 30, we have gone into closed session. We have come out of closed session. And so uh, I will go to open session, item uh, 32. Uh, 32A, real estate acquisition appropriation for same, no, no uh, action to be taken this week. 32B, pending out of potential litigation, no specific action to be taken. 20, um, I'm sorry, 32C, discussion, consideration, possible action regarding response to public health emergency, no specific action to be taken. 32D, uh, civil action number 423CV02778, Aspen Specialty <coughs> Insurance Company versus Allied Healthcare Providers of Hidalgo County et al., uh, Commissioner, I'd like to refer back to item 31A, requesting exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code Section 2620248A4, professional service for the provision of legal services <coughs> representation in connection with litigation. I have a motion. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And 31B, engaging with the firm of Preston Henriksen for the provision of legal services representation in connection with litigation and authority to submit a letter of engagement. Subject to compliance with House Bill 1295, and this is specific to civil action number 423CB02778, Aspen Specialty Insurance Company versus Allied Healthcare Providers of, uh, of Hidalgo County et al. 
So moved. Versus, I'm sorry, allied health care providers of Hidalgo County et al. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 32E, uh, C2956 23 3, Maria Teresa Flores, the first Hidalgo County and Head Start, uh, Hidalgo County Head Start Program. Commissioner, I refer back to item 31A, requesting exemption from competitive bidder requirements under the Texas Local Government Code, section 242024 a professional service for the provision of legal services representation in connection with the litigation. I have so a motion. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 31B, engaging with the firm of <laughs> Carlos Escobar for the provision of legal services representation in connection with litigation and authority to submit a letter of engagement subject to compliance with House Bill 5 again specific to C2956-23-J, 23 Maria Teresa Flores versus Hidalgo County and Hidalgo County Head Start Program. Set. Motion made. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 32F, uh, notice of claim, Jennifer Colbert et al. Uh, versus County uh, Commissioner, I'd like to refer back to item 31, requesting exemption from competitive bidder, requ competitive bidder requirements under Texas Local Government Code Section 2620248 Professional Service for the provision of legal services representation in connection with the litigation. A motion. Second. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And 31 be engaging with the firm of Jones, Galligan, Key, Lozano for the provision of legal services <laughs> representation in connection with litigation and authority to submit letter of engagement. Subject complies with House Bill 1295, and this would be the notice of claim and any subsequent filing by way of suit uh, as it pertains to Jennifer Colbert et al. versus County. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, item 32G, uh, Rosado E. Orozco et al. versus County of Hidalgo and Roman Rodriguez. Uh, we will proceed as directed. Motion Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 32H, Jose Felipe Nunes et al. versus Hidalgo County. We will proceed as directed. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And 32I, claim of Jesus Tagle. Uh, again, we will proceed as directed. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. All right. There is no need to go back to closed session. No action on item 33 and or 34. No action under the open session. Before we adjourn, commissioners, our next court session is scheduled for September 5th, which is a Tuesday morning. Drainage District, 9.30 a.m. and Commissioner's Court, 10 a.m. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you.